I play Mike Ross, um, who uh, when we found him at the beginning of season one was sort of at the bottom of his barrel, not really figured out how to live up to his potential, of which there was a lot. For me, it's an opportunity to play out the fears that I think most people deal with, that they're not capable of doing the things that they dreamed that they were capable of. What happens in the event the company no longer exists? I wasn't in the lease. How can you be sure? Because the lease I read wasn't 300 pages, it was 364. Excellent. You can get them started on the new deal right away. And it was such a joy to play that out for a whole season, but I kept pushing myself further and further and I got to use that to fill my grass with, with something true. Everybody knows you're the best. But I'm also trying to decide what kind of person I want to be. Sometimes I like my kind of person a lot more than yours. And the second season, which is, you know, somebody who is still figuring out who he is, but the, the, the picture is a lot clearer. And, uh, and there will still be challenges and there's still gonna be uh, things that get in his way and that force him to redefine himself a little bit along the way. But I think it's gonna be fun to see a Mike Ross who's got his feet sort of firmly planted on the ground this season. Harvey and Mike are, such an interesting pair, and uh, this mentorship was a very different shape the first season because Mike didn't have his feet totally under him, and so I think Harvey had to do a lot of tough love. Winners don't make excuses when the other side plays the game. And now, moving into the second season, I think that Mike has learned a lot already, and I think it's gonna be interesting to see a little bit more grown-up version of Mike and uh, to see how Harvey reacts to that. Good lawyer, bad lawyer, baby. Worked like a charm. Come on, you know you want it. That first season, we really didn't know what it was, and so there's no pressure. You're kind of like, we're all just gonna do this thing, and the director will tell me if it's working, and the creator will give me an idea, and we'll just go. But now the season is, the show's been successful, and now you go on Twitter and you see people talking about it, and suddenly there's this like culture surrounding it, which is great and really exciting for us, but at the same time, suddenly it's, it's the pressure. It's like, well, now we have something to not only live up to and repeat in some ways, but we have to continue to evolve. We work in an environment where we're allowed to try things. We all, I feel like, come from completely different schools of acting, of performing, and yet we uh, encourage and learn from one another, and we refuse to feel threatened by one another, and we bring those strengths to the table and then all learn from each other. I had just finished working with Dustin Hoffman, and if there's one thing Dustin's really good at being, you know, the world's greatest method actor is creating the scenario on set. And so I kind of tried my hand with it a little bit with Meghan Markle. So every time I'd have a scene with Jenny or Vanessa Ray. I had an interesting conversation with Lewis last night. He said I should be careful of you and Rachel. Do you have anything to worry about? No. I would come into the trailer and just say, oh, so terrific working with her. She's just so talented. I kept it going all season. I just kept her going so till by the end, she's confronting me about that relationship. She was so primed to just tear me to pieces. No more running to me for favors or asking me for help. How about you find yourself some other paralegal? Because as far as I'm concerned, we're done. To find out that you can actually love going to work every day and really love and respect the people you work with and have that translate to success. It's kind of like a dream, to be honest. You, you, you leave a set like this and you're like, I'm not sure which part is the dream, if the real life is the dream or this, but I got here and everybody's the same and it's as if we had all just walked away from the set like last week and now we're back.